for my big Halloween special for 2011, I decided to review the Digivice from Digimon Season 3, or in Japan it was called Tamers. This Digivice is actually not that bad. Uh, the series takes place in our universe, where Digimon is a TV show, card game, and video game. And they use these to summon Digimon that have escaped from their world with these blue cards. The show is really good. It's my favorite series next to Cross Wars in the first one. Uh, I really like this Digivice. I got the set of Flea Market for $20. So I was really lucky. They had like a bunch of them, but I only got this one. Turn it on. Turn it on. There it is. You see Gilliman. Get him under the light. There he is. Hello. Status. You check his status, like his life and stuff. Let's see. Uh, you can check the map. Show how many distances you have to walk. Play two games. I don't feel like playing them. They're kind of boring. You can heal them. Uh, you can change your Digimon. You can do a versus battle. You can go on the internet, which is actually a unique feature to the American version, which you can actually go on the internet, which is weird. It came with a CD that you put in your computer. I can't connect them, though, because the com connector port is a really old one. Because this was made in 2001. The connector port is really, like, it's not a USB port. It's just this brick, and I can't use it. Um, this thing doesn't really slide and scan the card. Like, you slide it on the side where it says swipe. But rather than just knowing what card you're swiping, it knows how fast you swipe. Let's see. You shake it, and he walks because it's a pedometer. And when you shake it to a certain amount, you get to fight another Digimon. I'm not shaking it that much because there's... It's just like... Yeah. You have to shake it forever. Like, when I got this thing, I was playing with this thing just trying to get a fight with the Digimon. And I kept winning and losing. It's weird. Takes two AAA batteries. Uh, there's the port for the internet connector. I have the disc. It's somewhere in a closet. It's with my copy of Digimon World. Overall, this is not bad. I got it for 20 bucks, which is pretty much the price they sold it for when it was first released. Fun little toy. Uh, it's really nice. It's nice as a pedometer if you don't mind being seen with this. Um, the next time I go to an anime convention, I'm going to be cosplaying as main guy from this, and I'm going to have this strapped to my pants. <laughs> the card's really nice. I kind of wish the card was lenticular, like in the TV show, but it's nice. I like it. I like the tamer symbol. If you can get this for cheap, I'd say buy it. eBay is not a good place to get it, because they have it for 50 60 70 80 dollars. It's a lot. But if you can get it for the price I got it for, or cheaper, go ahead and get it. You can... Gilamon is not the only Digimon you can get on this thing. You can also get Renamon and Terriermon, but I picked him because he was my favorite. And he just shut off. Alrighty. Happy Halloween. And that was my Halloween 2011 review. Check back next time when I review something else.